There is something very, very important that I want all of you to pay very good attention. It's going to be on the next slide. And yeah, some of you might feel emotional seeing that. But please hold your horses. Many of you have actually reached out to me and asked me. And only if my data works. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> For the last four and a half years, Basic Stoke has been a place which I dearly call a home. And this is definitely, definitely, definitely not the reason of moving out. But why I'm here? What are you going to get out of it? So, I love this acronym. This time it was. Who knows the full form of this acronym? I know who knows. One form of language comes to Alright, yeah, not technical stuff. <laughs> it's one of the most amazing radio stations, <laughs> which is available throughout the world, and every one of us love it. Interested to know? I can see I have grabbed your attention, and it's called what's in it for me. So if I'm here presenting, even though it's a bit of emotional speech, I want to make sure that you get some value out of it. So my carrot that I'm going to dangle to you is that if you are engaged throughout the session, you might get three secrets that can help you achieve your goals. Now those have helped me and hopefully it will help you. Good deal with everyone? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So, my journey with Basing Stoke speaker started even before I came to Basing Stoke. So, if you're not able to read the text, don't worry about it. But basically, in the Jan of 2020, and I was in India for a few months, and I knew I was going to travel to UK and Basing Stoke. And I am a contest buff. Those of the members know that if there is a chance, I'm going to race. So even before coming to Basing Stoke speakers, I was messaging them that I am very much interested to participate in the contest. Can you allow me? How can I be a member? And we had this amazing person named Kit, who very, very much welcomed me and made me as part of extended family. And why I'm saying this is that there are other clubs, I'm going to be controversial here, but I think it's all right. There are other clubs which I reached out, which plainly denied that. Now, if you are a person who is not from a country, it might feel very, very hard. So what I am very, very proud for last four and a half years is that I am part of this amazing club, which truly welcomes every single guest who comes and it turns out that if you come two times there's a very highly likelihood that you will become a member so guest please watch out <laughs> <laughs> i did participate in the club i did win the club actually there was no one in the club so i, I <laughs> don't care, you know? but i did participate in the area which was the last area in person before the big breakdown happened so I had this physical picture and then I went on to compete in division as well. But what happened in 2020, March, we all know. And this is where I think that paved the journey for me. So in 2020, for almost 10 months, I was all alone, secluded in a house with no one. Literally no one. And we all know what happened. I'm not talking about Boris Johnson, Gate Christ and others, but we all know we are not allowed to meet, we're not able to do anything. At that point of time, having a community like a Basing Stokes speakers, like the other Toastmaster Club I was part of, really kept me going. And I really went all into Toastmaster because I wanted to be 
same. I wanted to make sure that I am making the best use of this time, maybe once in a lifetime, I don't want this to happen again, how best I can utilize that. And that's when this idea of, of documenting my journey, documenting my life came into the picture. So for those who don't know, for the first 18 years of my life, I was in a small town next to Varanasi in Delhi, uh, in India. And very much I studied in Hindi medium school, English is the second and third language you could say. And from there, in the next 18 years, I've moved at least 10 to 12 times, moved across cities, across state, across country and continent. So when I was in that room where there was no one and I didn't know when it's going to open, whether it's going to open or not, this one idea came into mind. What if my journey can be of help to somebody? And that's when I started working on my book, which I didn't know the title at the time. And that's how the first book came into the picture. 2021, I took a little step ahead. So I was one of the crazy ones uh, who you will really find it's not happened. So you are in club, then you have club officers, and then you go on and become area director where you are managing few clubs. But I was one of the crazy ones who had put my hands up for becoming a club president. And then I also put my hands for becoming an area director. And let me tell you, do both other things, but don't do it together. Life will be misery. So I took up that challenge while the book is going on. And one more event happened, which paved the path of my life. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that book launch. But basically, after about a year when I traveled to India, I was there for a couple of months, and uh, suddenly out of the blue, I remember that was 30th of March 2021. I was in my hometown, I had a flight booked on 6th of April to come back to UK, and uh, my mother was undergoing certain heart problems and other problems, but it was not so severe. But in the morning, around 5 a.m., she suddenly passed away. And it was a big blow to me because we were not expecting that to happen. And that's when I took it that I don't want and I have nothing against Basin Stoker UK, but the seed of going back to my roots started from there because Luckily, I was there. Luckily, I was with my mother. But what if that happened after a week? What if I was back here or I was on the way? So the idea of going back to India, being close to my family, my father, my sister and others started back then. And the book became one of the mediums because the book became a bestseller and I'm going to take a journey. But one of the things that happened was because you are in Toastmaster and others, I had so many amazing people doing so many amazing things without expecting anything. Now, what you're going to see in the screen is one of my friends, he actually created a promo video for my book launch. So I hope it plays. Can we give a big round of applause to my friend? I watch it at least 100 times and every time I watch it, like, is it really me? Is it really my book? Uh, so when you build the connections, the network, people, a, a lot of people will do a lot of things for you which you don't expect and you should always be grateful for that. So next. Okay. No. <laughs> okay, so the book, then I dedicated the book to my first guru, my mother, and here are other friends who supported me. A lot of friends took pictures, sent me, made a collage, and then this happened. It became an amazing bestseller. Now, 
understand i am an engineer i am not an articulate person i'm not a english graduate from oxford stanford and even writing a book is is like a big hairy audacious goal for me and then becoming a bestseller i was on moon and then one more thing happened i had a business coach at that time and he asked me okay aritosh what's next you wrote a book it became a bestseller what's next i didn't have the answer to that question at that time but it kept on haunting haunting and that's when i understood that i have to keep learning i have to keep participating and that is why many of you know if i'm here and doing something or other i got few pictures there are so many pictures by the way members who know you have to make sure that your uh, phone storage is pretty vacant because we share a lot of pictures on whatsapp group <laughs> and this is a teaser for all the guests to become the members so <laughs> but one more thing i did in 2023 is i started to expand beyond toastmaster as well because as a toastmaster you have to remember that you become toastmaster not to only be a toastmaster but to make your impact feel outside so once you are becoming comfortable at any place you have to challenge the status quo you have to think what else can i do how can i challenge myself so that's when i started another certification and i became in 2023 a certified world class speaking coach uh, as per the last data there were less than 250 certified speaking clo- coaches world class speaking coaches in the world so i'm glad to be part of one of those and i didn't stop over there because i kept on participating and and for this d91 conference rupa was there we had some great conversation i actually reached out to them said i am coming to the conference i have already paid the money is there anything i can do to help you guys so lesson for all of you is do not wait to be called upon just sometime present that i am coming over is there i can do is there any way i can serve is there any way i can help you whether it's an event whether it's a club meeting with any other occasion see if you can do because you might not know the benefit of that at that particular time but it will help you and in 2023 the idea that started in 2020 of sitting in a dark room starting with the first page of the book and this i'll just deviate if you are planning to write a book this is one exercise i'm going to ask you to do is uh, if you have a plan to write a book the first thing that happens is i'm not an author nobody is going to listen to my story who am i to become an author get a few accountability partner what i did was when i had this idea i reached out to two of my friends and said you know what i want you to be completely transparent with me uh, the name of priyanka and taiba and said if what i'm going to share with you is junk please call it out i will be very very grateful to you and i wrote the first introduction chapter of my book and shared with them luckily both of them really encouraged me our mind are designed in such a way that we always look at what is the missing part what is what is not good what is negative get some accountability partner some friends or or members a community who will help you because had it not been those two girls saying that we are going to get the copy of your book i would have never ever ever completed the book so get an accountability partner or someone who can hold you accountable so the journey from started from there and then once my coach asked me okay what next after the book after a few months the idea came that no i want to help people i can say and i can probably boast i am very good at what i do in my 9 to 5 job but over the period of time i started feeling that this is not serving my purpose it's not what i really see myself doing 20 30 40 years so after a lot of soul searching 
what I turned out is that I love to help people. I love to empower people. And that's when I came up with this Confident Storytelling Hub, which is my own platform for helping entrepreneurs, for helping working professionals, for helping coaches. Because a lot of us, almost all of us have amazing stories inside us. But what we don't have is the mechanism, is the capability to share it with the world. And you may forget the data I tell you, but if I tell you a very amazing story, you might remember. In fact, the research shows that if I tell you a data with a story, there is seven times likely chances that you're going to remember that data as well. <clears throat> so I want to empower people, specifically working professionals, entrepreneurs and coaches, in helping them refine their stories so that they can have the impact, they can have the confidence and they can have their own voice. So that is my mission. My mission now is to empower a million people by the year 2035, it's an 11 year plan, to help them discover their true voice and confidence. The future, so all of you know, I am shifting back to India. I have put my resignation in my job. So starting August, I'm gonna do this full time. And uh, I'm gonna say that I'm 80% excited and 20% nervous. I'm not gonna say I'm 100% excited because that's gonna be like, but uh, do you want to know how did I arrive to this decision that this is the right decision or not? Anybody interested to know? Good, at least please. Okay. So I heard, I saw this video by Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, who talks about this regret minimization framework. If you want to write down, you can write down regret minimization framework. And he says that in life, when I have two choices where I am not able to decide which one to take at this point of time, I imagine myself being 80 years, 90 years old and thinking, in which case I'm going to regret less. And once I do that, it becomes very, very clear for me what path I should lead towards. And I did the same exercise with me. And when I imagine myself 70, 80, 90 years, and thinking, if I don't take the plunge now, maybe I'll keep on re regretting till the end of my life. So I, if you ask me, I have not figured out every nuts and bolts of this, but I'm taking a plunge because I want to minimize my regret. And hopefully this framework will also help you in taking big decisions in life. Now, do you want to know the secret? All right. So now this part from here onwards is going to be more of a workshop. Uh, you have to excuse my printer because my printer uh, kind of gave up after eight sheets. So you're gonna share us sheets. So we have a, I've got a couple of sheets for every uh, desk. And we're gonna do some exercise here and please share it with others. And Mark, my friend has gladly uh, accepted that he's going to help me with double timing. So it's a challenge for him as well. Awesome. So what is the secret? How many of you know this term? But anyways, BHAV. Big. Yes. Big. Audacious. Big. Very. It's it. It's there on the slide. <laughs> Oh, I'm so proud. <laughs> awesome. So, Mark, I want all of you to actually use the framework that I said, just talked about Jeff Bezos, and think about what is your big, hairy, audacious goal that you want to achieve, maybe by end of the year, maybe by end of next year, maybe by end of this decade. What is your big, hairy, audacious goal? And I want Mark, please mark one and a half minute for that. Thank you.
Okay. okay. So who wants to volunteer? Okay. Yeah. Who wants to volunteer? One or two person wants to share their big hairy audacious goals. Maybe. Okay. Add in. So Richard, what's the in you can describe it? Awesome. Let's go. Okay, one from this side. Okay. <laughs> it's not mine. It's not mine. Yeah. <laughs> to lead. What's just you say it. To lead an exceptional life. Wow. A lot of us, when we think about the big, hairy, audacious goal, our mind starts to work against us. No, it's not possible. No, we can't do that. Or oh, this is too big for us to achieve. So what is the step one is? Have the clarity. What is my big, heavy, audacious goal? Then, there are three steps when my pointy works. So there are three secrets to achieving your goals. Want to know the first secret? Goals. <laughs> See, I got an unlock for you. Secret number one. So if you have the handout, write it down. If you have a pen and paper, write it down. The secret one is make a perfect plan. I was going to say, and an exceptional. Has everyone written? Okay. Some of you are smart. It is not the secret. <laughs> the secret is take imperfect actions. If you have a goal, you have to start taking action. Because if you get into your mind, making the perfect plan, you know what's going to happen, right? What's going to happen? Look at the new plan for <laughs> Awesome. And this is so true for me. I kept on doing so many things which I had no clue why I was doing it. Why I was doing four or five meetings in a day, those master meetings, never tried that. <laughs> why he was making so many videos on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram. Why I was doing a lot of interviews of world champions. I was just doing it. And you might have heard this quote, but if you have not, this, when I look back in my journey, makes perfect sense. Now I'll let you read. <coughs> so you might not be able to connect the dots, but if you don't do anything, there won't be any dots. Secret number two. So yeah, sorry. Action step. Now we're going to do some more activity for another 30 seconds now this time. I am running out of time. <laughs> what is the one imperfect action you can do which leads you to that big area audacious goal? We'll have 30 seconds, write it down and then we'll have a couple of people share what is it that you can do. Okay. Should we make this one quicker? You were the one. You were the snack one. That's the... Lead source. Yeah. So that's the goal. Yeah. Five seconds. Just do it. Just do it. It's like. All right. Thank you, Ma. All right. So two more people who have it. Okay, come on. All right. Two more people who haven't shared yet wants to share one imperfect action this week. Okay. And then, and you are out. Now, who else? Okay, so Haas, smiling. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> you want to share one action you want to do this week? Oh, I've been lazy uh, a lot this week. Mm. Uh, I've got a lot of guests checking into my hotel. And one of the most uh, laziest thing I've done is, you know, allocating them to the right rooms. <laughs> right? <laughs> Getting a lot of uh, linen. So, that's that's the, that's one of my task list to go and do tomorrow. Really, and then give a minute. Come on, this this table, one imperfect action. Let's see who are 
really care and for it. So my big hairy goal was to run a 10k by the end of the um, year. So I guess maybe run for 30 minutes this week. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go to the second secret. Secret number two. Okay, write it down seriously. You already know enough. This could be crossed out. Yeah. 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 Never stop learning and always crave feedback. I had a couple of meetings today itself. There are people in my team in the work job who are like one year, two year into the job. I actually reached out to them asking for their feedback for me. Is it required? Not at all. But do I need it? Absolutely, yes. The best part about Toastmasters, and I always say that, the evaluation is the soul of Toastmasters. And if you really want to take it to the next level, you go out there and ask feedback. It will not always be positive, but you learn through it. So always keep learning. These are some of the things I've done recently. The second row, first one is the firewalk in the Tony Robbins event I did last year. Then I met Robin Sharma earlier this year. And this one, last one is pretty much at the start of July, which I attended a three days program called Millennial Mindset Intensive. So I honestly believe in preaching what you practice. I won't have this slide, the previous slide, unless I am myself investing and learning. So if you feel that you already know enough, maybe it's time for you to get a reality check and see what else can you learn. Quickly, moving on to action step number two, which probably in the interest of time I'm gonna skip, but think about your learning goal for the rest of 2024. And to share, I have achieved 50% of my learning goal for this year, but I still have a few, it, at least three events to attend for the rest of 2024 in Indian life events I'm talking about. Now let's move on to the secret number three. And you know the drill. The secret is you're sufficient. If not correct. <laughs> <laughs> Seek out help. Whether it's related to your health, whether it's related to what you want to achieve whether it's related to getting some inspiration, even how you can maximize your Toastmaster journey, how you can maximize your journey as a working professional, as an entrepreneur, reach out. There are so many people who are there to help you, provided you raise your hand that I need help. If you raise your hand, somebody will be there to handhold you and take you away. So the action step is Think about who you can reach out for help. Thank you so much, Mark. I am almost done. <laughs> <laughs> and this four and a half years has been crazy. There have been times where I was frustrated, angry, but for the most part, I am grateful to each and every one of you. Even if you just came as a guest, I am grateful to you for showing up that truly means a lot. And I want to leave you with one quote, which is part of Earl Nightingale's The Strangest Secret Audio. If you have never had a chance, please reach out to me. I'll send you the audio. It's a, about 30 minutes audio, but it is transformational audio and, and said to be one of the first motivational audio in 1950s. And in that, there is a phrase which says that Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. I have put up my slides, but yes, there's a face. He said that he met once a person from media industry, and he said that my years in the newspaper business have convinced me of several things, and one of them is that most of us are basically good. We came from somewhere and we are meant to go somewhere else. We're never supposed to be here, whether it's the physical domain, whether it's the spiritual domain. 
and I want to acknowledge your presence in making this journey so amazing, so grateful. And I want to take a part on and say thank you so much for being with me in this journey. And even though I would not be here physically, I might turn up sometimes. <laughs> but but all these memories, I was telling it somebody somebody today earlier. You know the the most baggage I'm gonna carry is not the baggage of the the two bag pieces, but is the memory, the good memories, the great memories, the exciting memories, some of those salty and sad memories as well. And I'm gonna never ever forget that. Thank you so much.